What's going on guys? Welcome back to 100% Chelsea and welcome back to another matchday vlog. This time your matchday vlogs are going global. We are on our way to Madrid for the Atletico Madrid versus Chelsea match. And it's a tough game, but like I always say, to be the best, you got to beat the best. And when it comes to the best, Atletico Madrid is right up there with the best. So, can we pull out a performance against them and can we get the three points Follow me, let's see what happens up the Chelsea. Okay, so we've just been dropped in the centre of Madrid by the coaches. We've got plenty of time to kill, so let's go sightseeing. A few moments later. Uh, okay, so this went horribly wrong. We're lost. Um, yeah, we're just roaming now. See if we can find somewhere to do something in. Let, let's see what happens, but... We found them. Alright guys, took a little break from all of that. We're on our way back to the Plaza Square. Look who I bumped into. Oh, hey! Just hey, Chris Raisin right here. What's your thoughts on the game, man? I'm excited. I'm confident. I'm pissed, but I'm confident. Uh, I think Morata is going to want to stick a few goals past him. I'm nervous about Torres. I completely forgot he still plays for Atletico, so I'm nervous about him. I think he's going to have a very good game. What about um, Torres? Do you think he's going to start? I don't know if he'll start, but if he comes on, I think he could do some damage against us purely because it's Chelsea. We always let X players score against us. That's a fact. Fair, that's a fair point. point. But you seem really confident about it. Like with me, I'm like, I think we can get a result against them. Don't, don't I'm get me a wrong. bit worried don't, about Don't get me wrong. I'd be happy with a draw. Yeah. Get run over. Fair I'd fair be way. happy with a draw. Um, but I, I don't know. You know when you just get those feelings? You get those guts. You get those gut feelings. Yeah. But yeah. I stopped listening to them after the FA Cup final. Well, yeah, but that's because yours are wrong. Fair. <laughs> I, have a habit, I have a habit of coming up with predictions and being wrong at them. Yeah. But, well, yeah. I I'm going to go with you. So, what? okay. If Score prediction. Give me a score prediction. 
Right. My heart says 3-1. Alright. But my head says 2-1. So you think 2-1 Chelsea? I think 2-1 Chelsea. Now, Pochettino's going to be goal scorers. Well, well, the thing is, though, it, that game is going to be so tight. It's going to be a small mistake or just, you know, an outstanding piece of play that makes a difference. That's going to be the difference today. Both speaking, teams very equal. Speaking of that, do you think it's going to be the same team as against Stoke or do you think some players are going to switch roles? I think Hazard will start. I'm not sure on... Um, oh, please don't fucking give me hate for this. But I'm not sure if Fabregas will start purely because of his pace. I don't know if he's going to be able to stand up to the likes of Griezmann and Adrian. I think Rudiger will start. I, th I think he will because he's quicker. I think he's got more legs. Um, he didn't against Arsenal, that's the thing. Yeah, but you say that, but he did, he did run well. I mean, the thing is... The thing is, right, like, I want Rudiger to start, but... Oh, yeah, Rudiger. I don't know if he will, that's the thing. I thought we were talking about Fabregas. Uh, oh, I switched yeah. it to Rudiger like oh. a couple of seconds ago. So, uh, yeah, no, no, Rudiger will start. The Weeds will start, obviously, because he's not in the Premier League. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether he will start Christiansen or Cahill. That's going to be the big, big blower. I'm not sure on that. Um, obviously, Cahill's had a few crazy performances. Yeah. You know, people have been criticising him for what he's done. But, I don't... It's such a hard one to call. I mean, if you're Conte and you're looking at your fixtures, you've got Man City on Saturday. Yeah. Do you go for the draw today and try and go for the win on Saturday? I don't know if you... Conte does that, though. I think Conte's it, the type of guy is that, for victory. When that squad comes out, I think we'll know with Conte's intentions with what he's trying to do. Because, to me personally, yeah. we got a draw. Atletico and Roma have drawn against each other. Yeah. I'd go for the draw today and I'd try and beat City. Ah, it's fair. That's fair. Awesome. That's fair. But guys, I'm going to see you guys back at the square. Three, two, one, we're there. Many months later. Okay, so there's been another change of plans. So, no one's at the plaza. We don't know where anyone is, so... We're going to the stadium. Whee! Off to Wonder Metropolitano. Let's get the three points up the Chelsea. Like 
I know you can. Good. What's that? Oh. Nearly with the match. Go out of there. Go last one. Have the bomb! A free kick. Hey! Ball. That's a ball. Oh, oh my goodness! We keep knocking at the door. We keep knocking at the door. We're making good chances, but we need to stop taking them. All right, we've got a corner now. Push it back in, push it back in. Uh, what a stop, Portugal! Could have been 1 0. They wouldn't have deserved it, but it could have been 1 0. Good shot, Time. We're one nil down to Atletico Madrid. Personally, I don't feel like that should be the scoreline. I feel like we should be winning right now. We have been the better team. We have personally, I feel like we have dominated Atletico over the first half. We've had the vast majority of chances. Atletico's only real chances have come from the penalty and a little chance that they had before the end of the half. But in the first 10, 20 minutes, we were all over them. Our only problem was we weren't taking the chances. Atletico's penalty has come from a stupid, stupid decision by David Luiz. But other than that, personally, there's not really much to moan about. I think it's been a very good half by us. And I think if we continue to do more of the same in the second half, the goals will start to flow. But we do need to start taking our chances and we do need to start taking them soon. We just need to keep our heads straight. Don't get too stressed over the fact that we're 1-0 down. Keep calm, and then we should be able to get the result that we desire. Let's see what happens in the second half. Up the Chels. All right, early in the second half, we got ourselves a free kick. Let's see if we can make this one count. Got a lot of bodies in this one. Gone. Fabregas put it in. Breaking Kante, do your job. Good job, Kante. This is Dave. Morata! Oh! Oh, just too late to go.
a moment of magic. We just need a moment of magic. Come on. Probably the last kick of the game. Let's make the most out of this. Have a pop. Moses, have a pop. Someone just have a pop. Put in the box, Marcus. Oh, uh, back in. Turn. Alonso. Okay guys, so I've just got home now. As you can tell, it's not night time anymore. I had a really late plane trip. I didn't get back here till about 9 or 10ish, so this is a very very late review of the Atletico Chelsea match, but what a match it was. What an unbelievable performance it was by us. That was Possibly one of the best performances that I've seen in the Champions League by us in years. And it's the type of performance that makes me think that we can go far in this competition. I thought playing the 3 5 1 1 formation was exactly what was needed. I felt Hazard and Morata linked up immensely well. I thought. I thought we just battered them throughout the first half. I felt we were very unlucky to go into half time 1 0 down. I thought maybe our. We should have probably finished our chances a bit better, but in terms of the overall game, we were by far the better team. And it still showed in the second half. Atletico Madrid came a bit more into it, but we were still the better team throughout the 90 minutes. And it showed. It showed. And again, my only real negative about the game was that the finishing wasn't great and we could have put the game away a lot earlier, but... When you finish a game like that, when you finish it with a last-minute winner with the final kick of the game, can you really complain? I can't. I'm, I'm just, I'm just so happy with that performance. If we can pull out this, these performances against teams such as your Real Madrids, your Barcelonas, we could go far. I'm not going to go out there and say that we're going to win it because that's a bold statement, and I'm not feeling putting one of those statements out there right now. But I am going to say that we can go far in this competition. I've heard Steven Gerrard say that he hasn't even seen Real Madrid or Barcelona dominate Atletico the way we did. That says a lot. That says a lot about how well we played and that says a lot about the potential of this team. I genuinely think we can go far in this competition. But guys, this was an unbelievable day. I hope you guys enjoyed the match day vlog. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to 100% Chelsea. Again, all social media links to Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram will be down in the description below. Also guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Carefree Lewis G. And I will see you guys very soon for the Manchester City game. Stick around.